morning guys so today i am headed to ojai which is my favorite southern california town it's about an hour and some change just north of los angeles first and foremost you have to stop in ojai and get ojai coffee roasters coffee mm. ah but <laughs> first so guys, today I am going to Rose Valley Falls and Rose Valley Connection in Ojai. And you have to take the 101 towards Ventura, take the 33 all the way up into Ojai. And before you get into the town of Ojai, instead of going to the right, you're gonna stay on the 33, past the high school that was used in Easy A with Emma Stone. Hey, I want my juicy sweatshirt back. You went too loose around your chest anyway. Ooh, burn and take the 33 all the way up and you're just gonna keep going. It's gonna zigzag up into the mountains for like 25, 30 minutes maybe. And you'll eventually see signs for Rose Valley and then you'll turn and then you'll be driving again like for a long time in the middle of nowhere. And then you'll eventually come to Rose Valley Campground. So guys, I'm headed up to the hiking trail head of Rose Valley Falls and Rose Valley Connection, but I'm on Highway 39 in the Los Padres National Forest. And the wall is falling <laughs> um, and it's absolutely gorgeous there's some Lord of the Rings fog coming in So guys, I tried the Rose Lion uh, connection trail and there's a sign right to the left of the sign behind me that tells you the trail is that way, but it takes you to a little lake. And I got lost and I went in the middle of nowhere. So Rose Valley connection was a bust. There wasn't really a trail and uh, I just started going off into the wilderness. You can see behind me, lots of lizards and squirrels and birds flying out, scaring the shit out of me. To get to Rose Valley Falls, you're gonna follow this sign straight through the campground, right to the waterfall. So guys, from the corner of the campground, the trailhead starts right here through the woods. You'll be able to find it. You just gotta walk right past the restroom restroom just go past it and right into the woods so guys a lot of this trail has burned down which is so unfortunate i think two years ago there was a huge fire here in ventura and ojai and this trail used to be completely hidden in the woods and now you can see it's very exposed it's very easy right behind me it slightly goes uphill but that's pretty much it it's a very short hike Okay guys, so I just finished the Rose Valley Falls hike, which is very short. You can do it in 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how long you spend at the waterfall. And there's a second waterfall down below that's very small, maybe like six to eight feet, but it's really cool. Uh, when you park here, you will need your adventure pass if you're in the campground, or you can park right outside the sign of the campground and walk through. It's like a five minute walk. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, I would rate this hike a 10. It's my favorite one. Um, and I'm just looking at some full-blown hippies coming out of a van, which is cool. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 being difficult, it's a 1. It's so easy. There's a slight uphill moment. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10 with eye candy, 
I'm looking at two beautiful hippies, so I'll give it a three. Lots of cute dogs. I had a little pit bull come and lick up on me, which was sweet. On a scale of one to 10 crowd level, I would rate this a six. The campground was full of people. Uh, on the hike, I passed maybe six people going to the waterfall, and there were two people at the waterfall when I got there. Uh, when I scaled the uh, water to the second waterfall, I saw like 10 to 12 more people heading to the waterfall. So it was crowded, but it's still way out here. So it still feels more isolated than a different, you know, a Los Angeles hike or a Santa Barbara hike or whatever. So I would really recommend doing Rose Valley Falls. It's beautiful. So guys, another thing that I've been doing is when I do these hikes, I bought a little styrofoam cooler and I fill it full of ice, fill it with LaCroix, Taste Nirvana coconut water, which is my favorite. It's so freaking good. Uh, you just add some rum to this and you're all set. But uh, it's a really good thing to do, especially if you're way out in the middle of nowhere like I am, to have backup refreshments in your trunk. Uh, so I would recommend doing that. So guys, once you leave Rose Valley Campground, there's another giant lake across the road that's really beautiful that you can come explore. Guys, you will come across this beautiful creek you have to walk across to get to the rocks. But luckily there is a stone path. So guys, once you cross the river, you're gonna to come to this fork in the road and you're gonna to wanna to go to the left, which is the Pedra Blanca hike. I think I said that right. Uh, if you go this way, I think it heads to Willette Hot Springs, which I do wanna do another day. That's a few miles that way. So make sure you head towards Piedra Blanca. <laughs> so guys, along the trail to the big rocks, you're gonna pass the sign that says Sespe Wilderness. Just keep on walking, you'll almost be there. Pay attention to where you're stepping though, because I've been tripping over a lot of rocks. So guys, I've been coming to Ojai for almost 10 years and I have never known of this ginormous rock formation out here that's huge and epic just like bigger than when you go to Joshua Tree it's like you're on Mars so cool I did read a book about a guy that was abducted by aliens out in Ojai, so I wouldn't doubt it. 